So I just came back from the doctor's office. I have my or I had my blood drawn and I had to do that like last week. However, last week I had a really, really tough, rough, hard week. I had a lot of binges and that messed a little bit with my mind because I had to be like, um, I, I continuously want to say sober. Uh, I had to be like without food before they drew my blood and so um i had a few binges late at night and also just during the day that i was like yeah i like if i have my blood drawn right now like isn't it going to say that i i don't know like my blood sugar is like super high i have no idea but also i just had a really bad week and um today was the day that i was like yeah well you know come on it's the next week today I'm feeling pretty good so let's go so i just had my blood drawn and um yeah she was putting on the thing i still have to take it off the i don't know like the sticker thing and i was like oh you have no idea what you're doing to me by putting this disgusting sticky thing on i hate stickers so ugh. Um, so yeah, so that's done and I have been called by my doctor because my doctor obviously uh, wanted to call me about the blood results But they are not in obviously because I just did not uh, have them yet like last Friday And I was in a conversation with my uh, social worker So I wasn't able to answer the phone and I think she's going to call me today I have considered calling her but I'm like she's probably very busy So she will call me at a time that she's able to call me um, So yeah, I'm just waiting on that and then we'll see we will probably talk about uh, sleep apnea and also about about um, some help in terms of like um, with the eating disorder part and so I'm going home now and I'm going to do my research in order to find places like in the somewhat neighborhood that are dealing with people helping people with eating disorders uh, so that's what I'm going to do now other than that I also researched online about Overeaters Anonymous because there was a place where they had these kind of meetings and I looked for it but the nearest location is pretty far away however I did find out that they do like almost every day have online appointments and at the moment I am just considering or well not really considering I'm just thinking about like when is a day when I'm able to make it like mentally most of all because i have like i can just go to pretty much every meeting there is because i do like i manage my own time so that's really convenient so yeah that's also what i will be doing this week and today it's tuesday yesterday i had also a conversation with my social worker she came over and that's about it so far i'm doing pretty good <sighs> especially after last week i'm feeling much much better i am in the car right now with my breakfast uh, like i said i could not eat before going there so uh, i just have my breakfast with me and yeah that's it going home doing some research and after that i will be editing until like i don't know maybe six or so then i'm going to try to have like the evening free for myself because i really have to like last week my whole days and week it all just blended together in in I don't know I did not have like a lot of routine or whatever because I was not really eating in a routine I just had a binge and then I would eat nothing and try to restrict and then I would have another binge and you know it was just one big mess so I'm trying again to have three times in a day where I just eat in order to build up my routine again uh, sleeping is also still pretty bad like last night I laid awake for oh my god I think I went to bed like uh, 1 or 2 a.m. like in the night and I think I only was able to fall asleep around like 5 a.m. or something. I had all these ideas and thoughts and reminiscing about a lot of things. Memories popping up, a lot of images also. I am very much able to like very vividly see certain images in front of my eyes. That might also be why I'm always dreaming like very vividly. Like every time that I close my eyes, these images kept popping up like images of like dreams that I had about memories that I have all kinds of just um yeah 
images. So yeah, in the sleeping department, I still have to make a lot of progress to be back on track with that. It is 10, 16 a.m. right now. I'm going home, like I said, doing some research, having some editing time and um, yeah, that's about it. And also, of course, having some breakfast. So bon appetit. <laughs> Bye, Lanfem. I am making some dinner. I have some chicken. I have broccoli. It's quite a lot. I do like my veggies and also broccoli. So I'm just going to have some cooked veggies, some cooked chicken and then some potato thingies out of my oven. This is what they look like. They are about 66 calories per piece and I have been trying to use them up because this bag has been in my old freezer. As you can see, there is a lot of like ice stuff in it. And so I have been trying to empty this stuff. Um, so 66 calories for one piece. I think I'm going to have five of them with some chicken and some broccoli and that's it for my dinner. So there's eight of these left, which is good. I'm going to just dump them back in my freezer for later. And my fridge is getting pretty empty and so I do have to do some groceries. I think I'm going to do them this night, just like online, I like to order them. I have some sauces, some stuff, some uh, leftovers for tomorrow, some random tomatoes. I have a little tiny bit of fruit, and I have some veggies for, let's say, like one, two, three, four, maybe five days. So I will have to do some groceries. And um, yeah, this is what my fridge looks like at the moment. In case you're interested in my freezer, there is a frozen banana, bread, butter. Um, I use it for cooking some bread because I don't eat a lot of bread, at least for what I'm used to. Um, so I have still a ton of bread in here. I have some fish, some chicken, another banana. And Yuki likes to just lick my freezer. He always does that when I open my fridge or freezer. I think he just likes the cold. Then I have some salmon, some spinach, some potatoes, some uh, tortillas, some of the potato things that I just showed you, some of these bread buns that I bought like I don't know maybe two months ago some chicken some other meat and like I said I have a ton of bread so this is some bread some bread some veggies and another banana and all the way down here some of this instant meat so that's what's in here. Um, yeah, I will have to do groceries, like I said. So something that you might find interesting. I have my chicken right here and I want to add some oil. And luckily I've never been afraid of oil. So I'm going to add some oil and I'm going to weigh it out, but I'm not going to show you. By the way, there's already oil in here because I already used oil, but that was like the, the other side that is enough, but I wanted to just show you something. So I'm just going to add, uh, yeah, some more oil. <laughs> So you might say like, holy shit, that's a lot of oil. And you might be able to do it with less oil. But just to make a point, like if I weigh this out, it is four grams. If you translate that, four grams of fat, like fat is in general nine calories for a gram. So four times nine is 36. So this right here is 36 milliliters of oil or no, 36 uh, calories of oil in my dinner. I don't think that's really bad. Like our bodies, we need oil, we need fats. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you like, don't be afraid of oil. It's good for you, but you know, just don't overdo it. Like eating donuts, which are fried in oil, that's something different, but using oil on chicken or stuff that's there's nothing wrong with it at least not in my opinion so this is one whole chicken breast and normally i would not eat the entire thing i would split it into two and something that i learned since that i tried eating more proteins is that i really like eating more proteins with my uh, dinner nowadays most of the time i just eat one chicken breast so let's add it to my plate this is what my dinner looks like i'm going to eat i also have some salt to put on my veggies and of course lots and lots of water so this is going to be it bon appetit Eet smakelijk. Hello Lamfem. So I am sitting on my balcony with Makker, as you can see. And I just wanted to show you something really funny. So this is a thing in my wall to, you know, put in a screw or something. And in there is a little tiny bee and I baptize her Petra or in, in Dutch Petra. And I think she's going to nest in there. She's still in there. She has been for like five minutes or so. So I will keep you updated on her. It's really, really cute. So it has been quite a few days and Petra is still living or I don't know if she's living in it, but she visits and sometimes sleeps in the little plug thing. And it is really cute. And you might think, or at least I thought, that bees are living together normally in groups because that's what you think of, right? When you think about bees, you mostly think about honeybees, probably. But I found out that solitary bees, so bees that mostly live alone, make up the largest percent of the bee population. 90% of all bees 
bees are in the solitary category. So that was just something that I found very interesting and I wanted to share. <laughs> so yeah. And this is a picture that I took of Petra sitting in here. And this was like maybe two or three days back. Hey pistache. Hey cutie. Hey mucker. You're cute too. And of course, Yuki. Something that I also have been doing is uh, going to a furniture shop and I ended up buying this couch and it sits amazing. I have been keeping an eye on this couch for a really really long time now and it was like a crazy sale. I've sat on this couch like multiple times. Every time that I would go to this particular store I would go and find the couch just to you know sit in it and be like oh my god I want to buy this couch one day. And I finally did and I am going for this color. It's like this brownish grayish darkish <laughs> hey lam fam so i just came back from the store i ordered my couch so i'm super super excited i also bought this thing for in the background um because i always you know i try to include which uh date it is that day that i'm recording Whew, okay i'm still out of breath <laughs> And with this thing in the background, you know, you can just see the date. I also bought this flexible tray. You can put it over like the arms of your couch. Now one little set thing. The color in which I wanted to order my couch is a color that's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty new. And so they are only able to uh, deliver it in August. So I will have to wait a few months, but that's fine because I was saving money for uh, a fridge and a freezer. However, I was already able to buy myself a fridge and a freezer combination because all people with like a certain income they got like this extra money so that was really really nice so that saved me quite some money then i started to save up for this couch and then this weekend there was this huge huge sale and i got 600 bucks off of the couch and that's a really really good buy and so you know i'm okay with waiting for it it's it's no problem so that's what i did today right now i have to continue editing because i want my video to go up tonight um but yeah that's what i have been up to this is what the armrest looks like so let's add it to my current couch whoop so my current couch is fine however i cannot sit on this couch for too long without my back starting to hurt really really bad and so i have been wanting to replace this couch for very very long and um yeah in three months it will be the time for now let's add this thing this is what it looks like and that's it let's also find a spot for our calendar so i think um let me see so I changed it for the little bike. So my little bike is over here, which makes me have like two clocks right now. And then I've put the calendar up there so that everyone can see it and I no longer have to include the date every single time. Okay, so it's snack time for my cats. So let's feed them a little snack. Oh, kitties. <laughs> and Yip Yip just jumped off of my fridge. Also, by the way, you can still see it. A while back, I saw some paws on my wall and I tried to clean it, but yeah, one of my cats had their paws in some soil and um, yeah, they just stood up against the wall and now there's some spots on it, but you know, it's fine. It's probably you. He likes to murder plants. Ooh, do you like that? It's chicken. Boop. Eh, it's on me. Oh my God, it's curded. And now I'm like, I'm chicken. Eh. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> That's it. That's so cute. Now let's look for Yuki. He is sleeping. Oh, Yuki. He is deaf, so he does not hear anything, but he definitely is going to smell it. He is in a really deep sleep. Oops. <laughs> There's some on his paw. Come on. He's just sleeping in the chicken almost. No, no. Oh my god. Oh my god, cats. Come on. Okay, it was my fault. Come on, lick it off the couch. <laughs> oh my god, that's gross. It's good that I'm going to replace my couch, but yeah, let's clean it anyways. Eh, there's some more over there. Oh my god. Do you want some stuff? Let's go and eat it in the kitchen, okay? I'm going to feed him in the kitchen because this does not work. <laughs> but he does like it. Hey, Lamfem, so today it is May... Okay, so let's try this again. My battery died just now. <laughs> but um, today it's May 10th, which you also can see in the background with my new... Uh, what's the word again? I want to say agenda, but it's calendar. Also, I still haven't have... 
haven't have. I still don't know about like the result of my blood, uh, the, the blood roll that I talked about in the beginning of this video. And uh, tomorrow in the afternoon, I'm going to be called by my doctor and we're going to uh, talk about it. We also are going to talk about um, signing me up for another type of help specialized in people with eating disorders. I got really, really... <sighs> just tired because the place where I received my help like previously I called them I uh, talked to them like over whatsapp and then today I called again and finally today I got the email with like the letter that my doctor needs like a recommendation letter of how to continue with seeking help and stuff and so I think that she also got that letter if not I have it myself and I can send it to my doctor and I am finally able to go on a waiting list for some more help and I'm really relieved and happy about it um so yeah that's a little tiny update but I will have more updates in my next video probably I did not film an outro it's really hard like beforehand to decide this is where I'm going to end my video and so I'm here today to end the video and um, yeah thank you so much for watching I hope that you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll hopefully see you in the next one bye lam fam you're the night sky trying to make me see your stars the dark gets a